Praise the Lord. I hope you are blessed with the first uh, teachings. And now let us go to another level of our uh, of our understanding about life with God. The first teachings that I taught to you it's about repentance. This repentance first was preached by John the Baptist. And this preaching or teachings uh, you know it's very important to move on to another level in our relationship with God but if we stop only in repentance that will not take you to the final destination. So now before we go to another level of our teachings, shall we bow our head in prayer. Father God, I thank you so much for this day. Help us to understand your word and help us to see what you want us to see in Jesus mighty name Amen the message of repentance you know is preaching by the prophet of the Old Testament and again in the New Testament the same message was preached by John the Baptist. John the Baptist, he called the people to repent from their sin. So a person after he repents from sin, he starts a new journey. Those who used to drink, he stopped drinking. Those who commit adultery, he repents from his uh, adultery. Those who never forgive, after he repents, he starts forgiving people. That's why the fruit of repentance is very important. It reconciles man with himself. It reconciles one man with another man. It brings joy and peace to the society and to the family. It gives a new kind of life to that person. But repentance will not take you to heaven. Remember in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38 you know in the book of Acts chapter 2 uh, according to the word of God you know that time when the people when the people of God the disciples and all other people they were assembled together in the upper room on the day of the Pentecost, God pour out His Spirit in the upper room. And all the people who were in that room, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak tongues. And they spoke the language of many. 
And there were there was so much of noise in that place. And the people of that locality they were gathered together around that upper room. Because you know they were all filled with surprise and full of amazement because of the shout and the 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 things that had happened in that upper room and the bible says that the people people from different kind of tongue they gathered together around that upper room because they do not know what is going on inside that upper room and then some some of them they uh, they make jokes with uh, with their friend and saying that these people in the upper room they were drunk then after that Peter and his friend they stood up with their boldness and Peter began to preach so, so what is the message of, of Peter at the time Peter said repent repent and as he start preaching the gospel you know these people they were so touched by the word of Peter then they asked Peter what shall we do because at the time Peter preached the gospel of repentance and all the people were touched by that message and then when they asked to Peter what shall we do let us read together in verse 38 Peter said this word repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ you know what did Peter says Peter says repent that is the first word of Peter when the people ask him what shall we do Peter said repent and then after the word repent Peter said be baptized everyone in the name of Jesus for the remissions of sin listen carefully to the word of Peter he said repent then after that he said be baptized for the remissions of sin and if you remember the word of Jesus Christ in John chapter 3 one day one man by the name Nicodemus went to Jesus when he went to meet Jesus by night he asked Jesus about uh, about how to how to enter into the kingdom of God and Jesus said this word in John chapter 3 verse 3 Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God Jesus said except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God first you need to repent from your sin you need to turn away from the path of sin 
First, you need to change your mind. Change your mind from the mind of sin into the mind of righteousness, from the mind of evil into the mind of good. When you change your path of your journey, and when you change the way you think, and now you need to move to another level. You need to be born again. How to be born again? Because repentance will not take you to heaven. Repentance will not take you to the kingdom of God. Repentance will only change you. Will only change the way you think, they will only change the way you walk, the way you talk. But being born again means you can enter into the living relationship with God. Peter preached about repentance and he also talked about baptism for the remissions of sin. You know, when you, when you are baptized in Christ, then you are born again. There are two types of, uh, there are three types of baptism. We call it the bapt water baptism. And then the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the baptism in Christ. The baptism in Christ is that baptism after you repent from your sin after you change your life change the path of your journey you look up to the cross of Jesus Christ you look up to the cross of Jesus Christ and when you look up to the cross of Jesus you confess your sin you confess your sin see repentance is not about confessing of sin Repentance means to change, change the path of your journey, change the way you think. If you only change, change your mind, change your path, that will not take you to heaven. But you need to change your life. You need to make a decision to leave your old life. Then you must turn your eyes to Jesus. Then confess your sin. Confess your sin. You need to confess your sin to Jesus. The Bible says, if you turn with me from the gospel of, uh, from the letters of John, the first letter of John, chapter 1. The Gospel of John is very close to the book of Revelation. Just before Revelation, uh, you will find the Gospel of John, uh, the letter of John. Let us read in 1 John, chapter 1. Let us read in verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deserve, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. <coughs> so listen carefully. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What did the Bible say? All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's why 
when we all in sin we are in the bondage of sin we need to change from the way of sin into the way of righteousness that change is known as repentance that change is known as repentance but that repentance is not enough see after you repent also still the sin is there what happened after repentance sin is still living in you you may change your mind you may change the path of journey but still that sin is living in you that's why repentance alone cannot take you to heaven but you need another another level to to move on what is that level the level of confession first repentance then come confession you have to confess confess what first you need to confess all of your sin to jesus Turn to Jesus. Confess your sin to Jesus. If we say that we have no sin, we are the liars. And the truth is not in us. See, but if we confess our sin, see, John the Baptist, he preached only repentance and bear the fruit of repentance. John the Baptist, he stopped there. And then after that, he just baptized the people. But Jesus taught about born again. So the teaching of Jesus has come up to another level. So the level that can take us to the kingdom of God, to the place of God. And that is confession. The confession of sins, that will give you a new birth in Christ. The Bible says that if we confess our sin, He is faithful and He is just to forgive us from our sin not only to forgive us from our sin but it also clean us from all unrighteousness see, see during the times of John the Baptist that is not there John the Baptist you only preach repentance and bear the fruit of repentance and get baptized no confession of sin no washing of sin that is why if you only stop in the teachings of John the Baptist you will remain a sinner but when we come to the teaching of Jesus Christ to be born again how to be born again the way to be born again is first confession of sin hallelujah confess your sin to Jesus and then after you confess your sin to Jesus then God will forgive your sin and God will say no I will not only forgive you God would say I will clean you I will wash you and not only washing you but I will take I will I will make you 
a righteous person. Hallelujah. That is mean. That is that means that you are born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How to be born again? First, you go with repentance. Change your mind. Change the path of your journey. Change the way you talk. Change everything. And then when you change, you have to make your way to the cross of Jesus Christ. And when you make your way to the cross of Jesus Christ, there at the cross of Jesus Christ, you confess all of your sin. After you confess all of your sin, who will forgive your sin? Not man, not pastor. Not a priest. Only God alone can forgive your sin. He will forgive your sin. God will forgive your sin. After he forgives your sin, God will clean what he had forgiven. He will wash that sin what he had forgiven you. After he wash your sin, he will take all, all of your unrighteousness and he will make you a new person. That is why the Bible says, if you turn with me to another portions of the Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 I want uh, my sister to read in Manipuri uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 Maram aduna kanagumba amana Krista da lairabadi mahak anoba kusemni ariba pot punna mak lantokre lantokre yengu pot punna mak inongno re Amen Amen See the Bible says that after you confess your sin God will forgive you after he forgive you God will wash you after he wash you he will take all unrighteousness from you and then you are a new life in Christ and the old things are passed away and new things will come in your life hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord this is very important many members of the church of today Many Christians they claim that they are the children of God, but they are not. Because so many Christians they are Christian because they are born through the Christian parents. That is the Christian in name only. But the true Christians are not only born in the Christian family. But the true Christians are those Christians who had repent from their sin. Uh, and not only repents from their sin but who whose sin are forgiven by God and not only to forgive not only forgiven by God but their sin are washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ they are not only washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ but all that their unrighteousness had been removed from and they become a new life in Christ. That means you are buried in Christ. How you are buried in Christ? You are buried in Christ because all of your sin had been forgiven, all of your transgressions had taken away. 
अखोई ने क्रिस्टल दा कुंभा है बुद्धि अखोई की पत्ता बसिंग अदु लोक थो प्रे अखोई की पाप सिंग अदु लोक थो प्रे अदुनी एंड यू लिव अ न्यू लाइफ इन क्राइस्ट अदुगा अनोगो पुंसी क्रिस्टल दे हिंग बा अदुनी अमें प्रेज़ द लॉर्ड प्रेज़ द लॉर्ड एंड रिमेम्बर दिस इस नॉट इस इस नॉट ओवर येट अदुगो मिंशिंग गरा � Uh, the confession of sin or the washing of sin. You have to move to another level. Not only being washed, not only being forgiven, not only being the child of God. But you need to walk with God. So when you will start walking with God, you will start walking with God only after you have to, only after water baptism. So listen carefully to the third teachings. So as of now, we will stop here. But please go to the third teachings. So if you want God to wash your sin, you follow this prayer. You can follow in Meitei language. Shall we pray this prayer? Father Jesus Christ, I come before you. I know that I am a sinner. I have repented from my sin. And now I give my life to you. Jesus, I believe in you. Wash my sin by your blood. Make me whole again. In Jesus' name. Amen.